GimKit is a great platform for game design. It gives you all kinds of devices that you can use in combination with each other to create really cool game mechanics. One device you won't find in this list, though, is a password device, a device that you could use to set up um, password restricted access to a certain area or to a certain item or something. Um, but there is an easy trick to set up password protected areas using a questioner device. So um, normally you use a questioner device to answer multiple choice questions. Uh, and you attach them to kits that you have in GimKit. But there is an option when making kits to have text input as your question. So if we look at this kit, for example, I just have one question in this kit, and it's what's the password? It could be anything for you. But this is a text input kit. So students don't choose from multiple choices. They have to actually type in their answer. I've gone in and I've set up four possible correct answers here. So any of these would um, serve as a correct answer for this kit. But they won't give them these choices. They have to type them in. So I already have this kit connected to this questioner right here. Um, and this questioner will broadcast on a channel, if answered correctly, that is connected to this little prop here. Test this out. I can come down to my questioner, answer my question. You do a wrong answer first. And you'll notice that it just disappeared. The barrier is still right there. So if I try again and I use correct answer, it tells me that it's correct. Now that barrier is gone. So I had posted in an earlier version of this video where I still had my incorrect message set up like normal. And what it did was it actually told me what the right answer was after I put in the wrong answer. So I had to get a little creative in the questioner. I, under interface, or under channels, um, set up a channel for when questions were answered incorrectly. So the channel, I just called it wrong. And then I went down to close interface when receiving on wrong. So I got the question wrong. It broadcast this channel. It then receives the same channel and closes the interface before it has the chance to show me what the correct answer was. So this was the workaround for students who might just see the correct answer after one incorrect answer and be able to kind of spam the game that way. I also have a channel for a correct answer, Open Sesame, that this object will receive. If I go to Availability, hide prop when receiving on Open Sesame, so I get the right answer. This object sees that, it hides, and now I can access this room. So that's a way that you could use the questioner device and text input questions to um, work like a password in your game and open password restricted areas.